The model of going to school to learn is relatively new. Before 1900, most children learned at home and out in the real world. In 1837, the state of Massachusetts formed the first state board of education with Horace Mann as its secretary. Mann believed that everyone was entitled to the same content in education. Returning from a research trip to Germany in 1848, Mann lobbied heavily to have the Prussian model adopted. He quickly set about establishing a statewide system of common schools, staffed by professionally trained teachers. His ideas quickly gained momentum, and by 1852, Massachusetts passed a compulsory attendance law. Mann also believed that school could become a great equalizer, and values such as obedience to authority, promptness in attendance, and organizing time according to bell ringing would help students prepare for future employment in an industrial age. And the whole purpose of it is to create a docile, factory, military workforce. And the whole purpose is to subordinate children and get them in that mindset of being subordinated so they grow up to be subordinated adults. This is the poorest class I've had. Prussian schooling had been out to destroy the imagination. In every public library worth its salt in the United States and in every college library, you will find a collection of essays by a Prussian philosopher, Johann Fichte. Fichte said we have to set up a system of universal force schooling in which we destroy the imagination. Bells, ordered lessons, constant testing, rankings. The entire system is designed to regiment a large group of people and to get them all to do the exact same thing. By 1900, 34 states had compulsory schooling laws. Half the nation's children attended one-room schools. And by 1918, every state required students to complete elementary school. The reality is they want children to take their place in society, be cogs, and keep this system going. So you're going to school to take your place. Now the trouble's with your attitude. You don't pay enough attention in class. You don't do enough work outside of it.